Hello everyone. This is Dr. Ramya, consultant obstetrician and gynecologist at Rainbow Hospitals, Banergatta Road. Today, I want to share a few info about recurrent pregnancy losses or recurrent miscarriages. Miscarriage is the most heartbreaking for any couple who is planning for pregnancy, and if it happens repeatedly, it's even more frustrating. What is recurrent pregnancy loss? If a woman suffers three or more consecutive miscarriages before 20 weeks of pregnancy, it is termed as recurrent pregnancy loss. Miscarriages are quite common, the incidence of this being almost 15%, but recurrent pregnancy loss is quite rare and it accounts to only 1-2%. to But do not lose hope. Even if you have suffered three pregnancy losses, you still have a 75% chance that you can have a successful pregnancy and a healthy baby. So what you have to do if you're facing recurrent miscarriages? Do visit a high-risk obstetrician. So once you consult the doctor, our first aim would be to identify what is the cause of recurrent pregnancy losses. So there could be multiple causes. Firstly, genetic causes. So the couples, they can be carriers of certain genetic mutations. So that could be causing genetic abnormalities, that is chromosomal abnormalities in the baby, resulting in recurrent miscarriages. Secondly, there could be uterine anomalies or cervical incompetence like biconate uterus or septate uterus. Thirdly, there could be blood coagulopathies like antiphospholipid antibody syndrome, wherein there are small, small blood clots forming in the placental circulation, leading to recurrent miscarriages. Fourthly, there could be endocrinopathies like uncontrolled or undetected diabetes mellitus, hypothyroidism or variations in the prolactin levels which could be resulting in recurrent miscarriages. Infections, that also could be resulting in recurrent miscarriages. And never to forget, even male factors like any issues in the sperm like high DNA fragmentation, that also could be leading to recurrent miscarriages. So when you approach to us, we will first find out what is the cause for this recurrent pregnancy loss and then a targeted treatment can be planned. Suppose there is any genetic abnormalities in the baby because of the mutations uh, in either of the couple, then we can offer an IVF with pre-implantation genetic diagnosis. If there are any uterine anomalies, a hysteroscopic corrective surgery can be performed following which successful pregnancy is possible. If you're diagnosed with a cervical incompetence, a cervical stitch can be put at the end of first trimester and thereon you can definitely carry on a full-term pregnancy and have a healthy baby. Any blood coagulopathies like APLA, if it is diagnosed, we usually use blood thinners in the form of oral medications or injectables, following which a successful pregnancy is possible. Any infections can be treated with antibiotics. So take home message for women suffering recurrent pregnancy loss. Do visit a high-risk obstetrician. Let us diagnose what's the cause for your recurrent pregnancy loss and then we can formulate a treatment specific for you and thereby you can have a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby. Thank you.